What up YouTube, this your boy Download back for another reply. This one's the fabulous, Wolves and Sheep Clothing. And man, this is exactly what I've been talking about for a while now. If you are going to take someone else's beats, you better fucking motor it. Just like Fab did on this track, man. Fabless completely dominated this to the point that J. Cole or anybody who ever made a rendition of it, they have to step it up now. Songs like this are unmarketable as far as getting sales or whatever. But yet, as far as getting street cred, that's what these type of songs are basically used for. So, if you are going into it like, let me just make my own rendition of this song, then you're fucking up. Because if you're not taking that song and completely dominating it and completely reinventing it, then it's just a wasted effort, man. Because you're trying to keep yourself relevant to today's music, I guess, by rapping on other people's beats. But if you're not dominating it, people will remember whoever originated it over yours. There's no point in doing it unless you're going to do it right. And this is the type of level that you need to do it on if you're going to do it at all. If you can't, if you're not this good, go buy your own beats. You can get them for the low. Shit. I know people that slang beats for like a dollar online. Get your own. But if you're going to go jacking for beats, you better jack it. This reminds me of a... Uh, when Joey Pellegrino, I believe his name is, jacked Jay-Z's Where I'm From, the original Where I'm From beat, man. And he completely took that song to a whole nother level. And I mean, it was classic when Jay did it. Joey did it, took it beyond classic. And that's the type of shit you need to be on. That's the type of shit that gives you a buzz. That's the type of thing that makes people understand that you were really good. And if you were not... Striving for that, you just want your own rendition of shit. You bullshitting. 